Gabriel, come blow your horn. Shabbat Shalom, family. Shabbat Shalom, Mishpaka. And this is your host, Brian Anthony. Binya with Beyond Babbitt reporting for duty. Your host, Brian Anthony. Binya with Beyond Babbitt reporting for duty. Reporting to you live from behind enemy lines. Reporting to you live from the United States of Israel. Shalom, shalom. Welcome. Hello and welcome to the show. Another Shabbat. Blessed be you all. Well, guys, this one is urgent. Tell a friend, like, share, subscribe. Tell everybody you know. We're going to call this one urgent. Urgent. Rapture. 12, 9, 20. 12, 9, 20. There's cats out there. Anyway, rapture, rapture warning, guys. So we know that Gabriel has come blow his horn. Or is that Michael? <laughs> Somebody, Archangel, come blow your horn, baby. But um, let's talk about it. And then we'll get into the script. Our whole lives since the 19th century, since about... 1850 or so like that this the false doctrine the rapture doctrine the secret pre-tribulation rapture doctrine exploded on the planet exploded on the earth from the united states and the uk it's now worldwide and from the 1850s they've been saying don't worry about it don't worry about it and when you talk to people now what they say i ain't gonna worry about it i'm not worried about it they say, you're not going to be here during the tribulation. Hallelujah. Everybody shout. They say, once saved, always saved. You're not going to be here during the tribulation. Before the tribulation get here, you're going to be snatched out of here. And he's going to leave nothing but the wicked. Gabriel, come blow your horn. Before the tribulation comes, before it gets bad, you're going to get snatched out of here and go to heaven. And you're going to leave nothing but the wicked here with the Antichrist and the mark of the beast. All the saints, everybody who saved, they long gone. So here's the deal. You've had the universal Catholics teaching this, the Protestants in every denomination, uh, priests and pastors and popes and all of this, evangelists and prophets and whatever they call themselves. They've all been preaching this rapture mess. And they said, oh yeah, all of them say, oh yeah, it's in there. Paul, they say Paul talked about it. They say Jesus talked about it. They say it's all in the book. I just ain't found it. But they say, it says that before it gets bad, before the mark of the beast, before the tribulation, he gonna come and snatch everybody who's righteous, the elect, gonna snatch them away. And just going to lead the wicked down here. Even though the book doesn't read like that. That's the doctrine. Well, we've gotten the date, guys. Like I told y'all that the uh, governor of Texas announced December the 10th. Everybody was going to, um, they, they were making the uh, beast mark um, available to everybody. And they were going to start with the uh, health care workers. Since then, it's been announced all over the world. Same thing. UK has actually authorized it. It's been approved through their government, their Congress or House or whatever they have over there, the Parliament. It's already been approved. <laughs> yeah, there's one so-called prophetess over there who like, oh, this ain't the mark of the beast. And uh, she's really not from there. But uh, now she said uh, she was, she was going to go back to her homeland because she didn't want to be in the UK the rest of her life. Now she will, let's see if she's going to take this since it's not the mark of the beast in order to go back to her homeland. See the separation guys, what we talked about that happened uh, September the 4th. If you've been watching this channel, the separation has already happened in the spirit. So everybody who's going to take it, they're going to take it still. Everybody who's dead is set against taking it. They're going, they're not going to take it still. 
You see what I'm saying? You see the line of demarcation happened in September. Gabriel, come blow your horn. So if all the end time prophets, if all um, the, the Left Behind series and all the books and Hagee and or oh, maybe not Hagee, but I, I don't know. All the quote unquote evangelists, television evangelists, all the preachers of all the churches worldwide. Basically, they're saying because the governments have come out and said that this thing comes out December 10th. Right. UK said December 15th for them. Same week. Um it hadn't even been approved over here in the States yet. And they've already called it December the 10th. So that just means one thing, guys. By uh, deductive reasoning, uh, process of elimination. That means the rapture has to happen on or before December the 9th. December the 9th. Rapture warning, guys. Red alert. Red alert. Pack your bags. <laughs> Rapture, December the 9th. Now, when it doesn't happen, then we can get into what the book really says. The book really says that the wicked are going to be removed from the earth. The book really says that the righteous are going to inherit the earth. The just shall inherit the earth. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. The book really says that they're going to be swept off the land. The wicked are going to, it's the day of vengeance. Huh? He's going to get revenge. And we're going to reign and rule on earth with our father, with our son, with our brother, with our husband. So they laughed at us, scoffed at us. It was, a, it was one guy who used to be on YouTube. Oh, man, one, one while he was having a dream every night about the rapture. And he laid off for a few months. I think he's back talking about the rapture again. Okay, here you go. December the 9th, there you go. I expect to see all y'all gone. There was one guy who wrote some letters, some left behind letters. And about when he get raptured out, he's going to leave them behind so, so the sinners can find him and know how to get saved. What? <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the challenge, the rapture challenge. I don't mean to make a mockery, but kind of, because it said the Lord would have them in derision, which is making a mockery. We went over that the other day. So there ain't no rapture in the whole book. I've been telling y'all for years. But um, rapture, urgent, guys, rapture, December the 9th, because the beast starts, beast mark starts on the 10th. And... Um, Let's just see how it all works out for everybody, right? All right? Tell everybody you know. If they ain't raptured out on um, December the 9th, then either they've been believed in a lie their whole life or they just wasn't good enough to make it. Now, me... Oh, I had skepticism about that stuff a long time ago. I did my research and my studying a long time ago. The most high revealed to me, ain't no rapture, a long time ago. And I found it on my own, studying the scripture, praying and fasting and just in the word. And then Pastor Dorsey reinforced it, who was a little further along in his walk and his ministry and his understanding and his study, which helped me even more, strengthened me even more. While the people was calling him kook and a quack and a nut and crazy, they start calling me the same things. You see what I'm saying? It's propaganda war, guys. Now, so since the mark, the beast mark is here, I'm I'm already seeing. Uh, it says somebody on the 700 club, telling everybody you got to go and get this beast mark. You have to. And I, I've heard rumors of different. Hebrew Israelite camps, their elders, imams, leaders, pastors, shepherds, whatever, saying, yeah, you got to go get this beast mark. You still hear some saying, oh, it's fake. Ain't no, the, the beast mark doesn't already happen. I mean, we already doomed. If, it, if it's already happened, then we already all going to hell anyway. All this is null and void. According, according to Revelation 14, say whoever take it, you're going to burn. So if it's already happened, well, then we, 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 we wasting our time. 
But it's here now, guys. Uh, my bet is this. I got my money on that ain't going to be no rapture in December the 9th. And everybody who believed that believed the lie. Everybody who has fear is going to take the be smart and be damned. But the righteous are going to be blessed. Hallelujah. Bloop. Okay, guys. So with that said, let's go over here to Proverbs 10. Proverbs 10. Let me get y'all some script. Get some script in you. And uh, It's not a very big chapter, but it's full of jewels. Full of jewels. Proverbs 10, guys, because, you know, we were talking about um, this kind of goes in the, in the veins of what we've been talking about. Esau and Jacob, you know, the two kinds of people we talked about. Two nations, two manner of people. We talked about Esau being the end of this age. And that's what's happening, guys. There's no rapture. Esau's time is up. The end of this age and then Jacob's time is about to come. So we talked about two nations, two manner of people. I mean, look, look at look at the uh, the few the last few videos that we've done. If you want to catch up with this, but a slight review: we have good and evil, righteous and wicked, the wheat and the tares. We have Israel and the nations. We have Jacob and Esau. We have flesh and the spirit. We have flesh and the promise. We have the sheep and the goats. And we have heads and tails, like on the same coin, but you have two sides. So that division is what we're looking at now. So what's going to happen now, guys? So in other words, it ain't no this. It ain't no rapture. It's the wicked about to get their payback. And it's time for us to inherit our inheritance, which is the entire earth. So, um, So let's go and look at Proverbs 10. And we're going to start here in verse one. And it says, the Proverbs of Solomon, a wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing. So they're saying now, guys, you know, everyone who's been getting the unemployment and the stimulus and all that type of stuff, you're not going to get it anymore now. Only way to get it is to take the be smart. Now, Judah sold out for 30 pieces of silver, right? They're trying to uh, give you $1,500. That's 15 $100 bills. So if we divide that in half, okay, that's 30 $50 bills which is what an ounce of silver should be selling for right now, $50 an ounce. So they're really just trying to give you the same thing they gave Judas, 30 pieces of silver, 30 pieces of silver, $1,500. It's what it should be. And right now they have it a little lower than that. But they want you to sell your soul and join up with them and face their punishment, their judgment for 30 pieces of silver, for $1,500. Just think you ain't going to get your income tax return without this. Uh, I mean, you're not going to get those who are getting child support. You're not going to get that without it. You're not going to get the EBT without it, your social, care, uh, social Security and Medicare. Hey, it's about to get tough. This is where the rubber meets the road. Now, this is the physical separation. The spiritual separation has already taken place on September the 4th. And by the way, in case you guys uh, hadn't heard, they got your guy, the um, Grand Master J, the um, leader, what they say, the leader of the largest black militia in the country, on the continent, in the world, NFAC, not effing around coalition they got him 
facing 20 years. The federal, the alphabet's got him, the feds, facing 20 years. Why is he facing 20 years? Well, they said the uh, one of the marches that they did in September, uh, he had a flashlight on his gun, on his weapon. I don't know if it was a rifle or shotgun, a tactical flashlight. And he heard a noise or something. He lifted the flashlight on the end of the gun and raised it up, and it was at federal agents. This was on September 3rd or September the 4th. I believe September the 4th. Well, we, we, we it's December now. December. What is this? December 5th, 6th, something like that? It took that many months to decide? Yeah, it did. Because the guy was compromised. I told y'all that. From the beginning, the guy was working with them some kind of uh, play, some kind of way. Um, seems like he was a Freemason and who knows what other kind of ties that he had. And they decided to flush him. If you go look at my older video, I told y'all he was going to get burned. I told you he was going to get flushed. And not only that, the feds just got a rapper, um, Casanova, two times. Of course, he's claiming his innocence. Uh, New York saying he's uh, on a RICO act, some type of affiliation with something he says he knows nothing about. And uh, uh, some other, I mean, so many rappers getting shot and getting arrested. Uh, this is the COINTELPRO continues, guys. The COINTELPRO continues from the 40s through the 60s. So we got rid of all of our quote unquote black leaders. And now anybody who's not taking the payoff, they're going to come and get you too. Yeah, and now if you take the payoff, you're also going to have to take the um, the beast mark. So um, all your favorite musicians, all your favorite politicians. Then you hear that, uh, oh, and Clinton and uh, Biden. All of them said they're gonna yeah they're gonna take the beast mark live and live in color in front of people. They're gonna let them hit them with it. Okay. That don't mean nothing. You're already on the devil side. You're already a devil. <laughs> what is it going to do to you? What does that mean to me? And now they're saying that these beast marks, you're going to have to, once you get the first one, every so often you got to re-up on your dosage. And um, it hacks your DNA. They can program new things into you. You know, they say, like, well, this guy needs this. This guy needs to calm down. They can program you to be a zombie. I mean, they can program death into you to where in 72 hours you drop dead from a heart attack. Oh, yeah, we're there, guys. Good thing for a lot of y'all going to be raptured out in a day or two, <laughs> whenever the, the ninth is here. That's a joke, guys. You know, I don't believe that. But uh, for those who believe it, you shouldn't have believed it. So let's go ahead and get back to the Proverbs. Um, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 1. We're going to do the whole chapter. It says, the Proverbs of Solomon, a wise son maketh a glad father. But a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing. Okay, that's all this money they're trying to get. That's the stimulus money. The $1,500 that they're trying to give you. And all those who still have all this money in the bank and money in a 401k and, uh, you know, and they're trying to keep the credit score. That's the treasures of wickedness. In order to keep that stuff, you're going to have to take this beast mark. See, the line in the sand has already been drawn September the 4th. So some who've made up their mind, I'm not taking it. They're not taking it. The rest of them, they're thinking, well, maybe I can. Uh, yeah. Just think, guys, and they're saying you have to have a card. Keep it in your wallet. To when they ask for your papers, please, you got to show where you've been vaxxed. And that's a that's game because they have luciferns in the vax. It creates light. This stuff is already digitized. This stuff, they can see it with a helmet. The police, they already have the police that have the helmets that when you walk by, they can tell if you've been vaxxed or not. They can run a cell phone over it and tell if you've been vaxxed or not. So this card is just playing with your mind. Just letting you know. Letting you get used to it to know that you signed on to. And um, to give you, you know, so, so when you go into the store now, the mask is not going to be enough to get you admission. You're going to be like, where's your card? You're going to have to pull out that card. So you're going to be with your friends and family or whoever you're with. And you're going to be like, oh, I ain't, I ain't got one. I just got 
I said, no, well, you, sorry, you step on this side. You, you can go right there. We got a little booth set up. If you want to get vaxxed right now, we got you. Or otherwise, I'm sorry, no entrance for you. But then your little, your little girlfriend, she, boop, come out of her little wallet. Wait a minute. What you doing with that? She done been vaxxed already. Or your little boyfriend or your little husband or your little kids or your little parents or your homies, they done already got it. You don't want to, you the only one can't get in. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to tell you, I got mine last week. You sell out. You sucker, you. So this is, you really have to separate from these people now because now they have become contact tracers. Yeah. They know because their cell phone is even registered. So they know when they're in the um, vicinity of somebody who hasn't been vaxxed, whether you have a phone on you or not. So this is the second part of the separation. This is the physical separation happening right now. Okay, let's go back. Proverbs 10, 2. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth from death. Does it say the vax delivers from death? No. Righteousness delivereth from death. The doctor delivered from death. No. Righteousness delivereth from death. The rapture delivereth from death. No. Righteousness delivereth from death. Verse three, the Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish. They say it's a food shortage. They say the food banks is having trouble. They say, uh, I was reading, uh, this was out of town. They're giving the stats about the food banks here in North Texas. They were saying there was one of them who was giving out 4,000 Four thousand pounds of food a month, or was it fourteen hundred a month? I don't know. Anyway, they said last month or in September, they gave out one hundred and forty thousand pounds, and it's been that way. It's been heavy like that ever since. Instead of four thousand pounds or fourteen hundred pounds, whatever it was, it's over a hundred thousand pounds. It's over almost a hundred and a half thousand. So they're saying, yeah, this thing is really getting bad. But the book says the Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish. But he casteth away the substance of the wicked. This is why they want you to join in, guys. They want you on their side. They want you to take it first. They're saying they want all the black and browns to take it first. They say, oh, you guys need it the most. No, we don't. We got our father. We got our son, the son of our father, who is our brother. Who is our husband? Because we're the bride of Christ. See? We don't need it. Y'all need to go and knock yourself out. Don't worry about me. I'm going to be all right. <laughs> so, so let's, let's matter of fact, guys, let's go to uh, Paul's right here. I, I just want to talk about this for a second because this is so... Revelation 13, guys, because I keep talking to you guys about it. Revelation 13, right? We're going to start here at verse 7. Revelation 13 at verse 7. It says, And it was given unto him, talking about the Antichrist, talking about the devil, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints. And to overcome them. Well, see, the rapture theory said the saints ain't here no more. Said the saints done got plucked out. There's something wrong. If I were you guys believing in the rapture, I wouldn't believe in no December 9th rapture. Okay. Because it said he coming to make war with the saints. Okay. This is what it says here. Verse 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. And to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds, and tongues, and nations, and all, A-L-L, -L, that dwell upon earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life. So if your name is in there, you're not going to worship him right there. If your name is in there, 
you're not going to worship him because your name is written in the book of life. Now, your name can be blotted out. You know what I'm saying? But if we already written in, we're not worried about this. That's, okay, take your own little pharmacia. Dose yourself up really good. You know, make sure you and your, all your family get it. And when you die off, well, we just, just going to add to our inheritance. It says, whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. So they try to kill us with the sword, they're going to get killed with the sword. They're trying to lead us into captivity, they're going to go into captivity. They're trying to make us take the vax and, you know, take our life and our health, they life and their health going to get took from them. That's what's in the book. And I, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose daily wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth, and deceiveth them that dwell on earth by means of those miracles. So look for the miracles. That's what's about to happen. Don't see the scripture said these signs follow those who believe. Don't go following those signs. And by means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by his sword and did live. And had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right, verse 15. Should be killed. All right. So that's what we're facing, guys, because we, we're not going to worship the beast. We're not going to take his image, his name, or his mark. Okay, so that's what we're faking. So that's why it talks about the escaped of Israel. In, in, in um, uh, Matthew and Luke and in Isaiah talks about those who escape how it's going to be good for us how it's going to be blessings for us so we're going to go over this and then we're going to get back to the blessings ain't no use in going over this gloom and doom this is for the wicked this mess for the wicked we're going to get back to the to the blessings what God said he going to make a covenant with us he said it's going to be well with us he said it's not going to be no famish with us no famine you know, we're not going to be worried about no not having no food. That's for the wicked. Okay. The image of the beast should be killed. Verse 16. And he causeth. So it don't say he makes them, does it? It don't say he forces. It says he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Bill Gates, Elon Musk, and the other three vax makers in the U.S., but this is, is worldwide. There's not one continent you can go that's not participating in this, right? It's a global thing. He said he causes them. So in other words, you're not going to be able to get on the bus without proof. You're not going to be able to get on the plane without proof. You can't come back to work without proof. You can't get your money out the bank without proof. You can't go to the hospital, can't go to the doctor without proof. You can't go to school without proof, and so on and so forth. You can't renew your driver's license, can't get a driver's license, can't go shopping, <coughs> excuse me, and so on and so forth. receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead verse 17 and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name it's going to be three ways you can take it either way it's going to be proof that you have taken it and you have sided with the wicked with Hasatan with the antichrist 
Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. The number of a man is six. Man was created on the sixth day. And his number is six hundred, three score, and six. Okay, six hundred, three scores is sixty, because the score is twenty, and six. So six, six, six. That's in the uh, patent for the vaccine and in the patent for the virus, those numbers, 666. Read it and weep. For all you say, oh, this ain't that, this ain't this. Okay. Yeah, go and take it and go to hell. Because <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Not just, you know, just saying that. You will be in hell. Okay. Now let's get back to the blessings. Verse 3. Proverbs 10, verse 3. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. And you see, then you're not working to get rich. You're just working. Scripture say, do your work as if you work unto the Lord. And it's going to make you rich. It's going to make you to prosper. He's going to command a blessing on you. Hallelujah. In these days, in these times, guys. Verse 5. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son. What did it say at the beginning? A wise son maketh a glad father. Right? And it says here in verse 5. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son. But he that sleepeth and harvest is a son that causeth shame. So I've been telling y'all for all these weeks, all these months, all these years about the mark of the beast on this platform and it's here now. And then you got those, you know, instead of when it, when they announced that yeah, everybody was going to have to take it, you going to have to get a certificate. And you know what? Ain't nobody contacted me yet. All the doubters, all the naysayers, everybody who, and not one person has contacted me to say, you know what? I gave you a hard time and you were right. Not one person. Not one. Has conceded their argument. That oh no, nah, this ain't that, that ain't this. This ain't gonna happen. We're gonna be raptured. Like, nobody has called me to apologize, to admit their error, or just to be like, oh yeah, you was right. I gotta give that to you. No. <laughs> that leads me to believe that they gonna take this mess. They can't do without their stuff. They can't go without. Verse 6, guys. Blessings are upon the head of the just. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. It's like I've been telling y'all, it can only be one. Highlander, they're going to kill each other. And then the most high going to kill them. And then when they try to go up against us in war, we're going to have to kill them. Violence covering with the mouth of the wicked. For to say blessings are upon the head of the just. We, we ain't worried about it. He said the righteous are not going to have to famish. And we're not going to take that. We're not going to support Satan. We ain't joining in with that. Verse 7. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a prating fool shall fall. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely. See, you're not guessing. See, you're walking circumspectly. You're walking uprightly. You know, you believe that the law is the law, that the word of God is true and it's going to happen just like he said. You know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You don't walk by sight. See, those who walk by sight them the ones that's that's why they haven't called me and been like, you know what, you was right, and da, 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 da. No, they put up all this fuss and gave me all this hard time all this time. And we right here at it. It's only it would only me to me, it would it would uh, behoove me that the only reason they ain't saying uh call me and say I'm right, because they plan on taking it. I'm tired of fighting with you. It's been enough years, months, weeks, you know. I'm tired of arguing about it. I'm trying to show you the scripture. None of these words are my words. I thank the most high, hallelujah, for the understanding that I had got early on, that I was able to bring forth, bring this stuff out of here and try to show it to you. It don't matter. 
but we're going to see what's going to happen. Are they going to get raptured out by December 9th, 12-9? Or on 12-10 when this mess start coming out? Worldwide, if they're going to take it. Let's go. It says here, Um, the memory of the just is blessed, as verse 7, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a prating fool shall fall. So there's not a lot of wise in heart because no many, not that many people received commandments, received instruction. I mean, scripture say, my sheep know my voice. It don't matter if a bomb is telling you something. If they're saying something that might be right, you don't just poo-poo it. You go and check it out because it's in your spirit. It's not going to let you rest. It's on your heavy. You got to go and search it out. You go pray about it. But now nah, these people just laugh. Ha, 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 scoffed and mocked. That's why the Lord is going to have you in derision. We read that the other day. Scoffing and mocking at you instead of his servant, instead of his word. Ain't no rapture in the whole book. Continue to say that. Now, who has the last laugh? Verse 9, he that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. Everybody who takes this beast mark shall be known. And uh, there's a sickness that comes along with it, too. You want to go back and want to know about that? Go back and read uh, Revelation chapter 14. Verse 10, he that winketh with the eye causes sorrow, but a prating fool shall fall. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then Jesus say the words that I speak unto you are spirit and they are life. And there's a lot of words out there that are spirit and it's death. That's the ones that's going to scare you into taking this beast, Mark. So I'm going to speak blessings to you. I'm going to give you life. I'm going to give you something to make it. You see what I'm saying? trying to boost your game up. I'm trying to bless your game, boost your power level, you know, raise your frequency, raise your vibration, you know, get you out of the darkness and get you into the light with these words of life. Verse 11, the mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. That's the second time they just said that over in verse six, violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Verse 11, violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. It's gonna not just going to cover his mouth, it's going to cover his body. He's going to get put in the dirt. Verse 12, hatred stirreth up strifes, but love covereth all sins. Love covers it. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. I mean, you're going to get beat. You ain't got no understanding. You lack of understanding. Verse 14, wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. We're going to see a lot of the foolish be destroyed. It's a scripture in this book that say the wealth of fools destroy them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the wealth of the, wealth of the wicked don't destroy them. The wealth of the fools destroy them. Verse 15, the rich man's wealth is his strong city because that's what he depends on. That's what he trusts in. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. So their poverty is what destroys the poor. So I'm saying not wickedness. Verse 16, the labor of the righteous tendeth to life. We're going to keep on working right on through it. And now this is going to help us when I say this is the separation. Sheeps and the goats, wheat and the tares, all that. The righteous and the wicked, Israel and the nations. This is going to definitely, because everybody who's shut out of society, because you're going to get shut off social media, you're going to get shut off Amazon, uh, email accounts, you're going to get shut off uh, having a cell phone, all of this without taking the be smart. We're going to have to gather together. We're going to be the rejects, the only ones who can't participate in what they have going on, the, the infrastructure that they've already built. We're not going to be able to participate if you don't take this beast mark. So we'll see who's already made it up in their heart because we're going to, we'll see, we're definitely going to have to cleave together on the outside. We're going to be shut out of everything. 
Yeah, and we're going to watch the most high work and be blessed and be blessed. Uh, okay, verse 12. Hatred stareth up strifes, but love covereth all sins. And the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. This is where I was. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of of the righteous tendeth to life. That's what I'm saying. We working. We, you know what I'm saying? It's going to help us get to that 120. It's not going to cut our days short. That's the wicked. What they do, cut their days short. The fruit of the wicked is sin. See, that's what kind of fruit is that? It brings forth sin. Verse 17. He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuseth reproof erroreth. He that hideth hatred with lying lips and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. And the multitude of words there wanteth not sin, but he that reframeth his lips is wise. The tongue of the just is as choice silver. So this is why I'm blessing you now with the blessing with this life because the tongue is as choice silver. Okay. Blessings to you and your family. Blessings to all those who heed these words. The words of the Father. The words of the Most High. The words of our Creator. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. By the blood of Yahshua HaMashiach. May the blessings. I command a blessing over you. I command you to stand. And not be moved by this foolishness. Until we're delivered. Until we have the kingdom of Hasatan in our hand. And the glory of it from up under the heavens. Hallelujah. The entire kingdom. Because it says the saints of the Most High shall possess the kingdom. Hallelujah. Verse 20. The tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. Now, if you do your research on the heart, guys, the heart is more than just a muscle that pumps blood. The heart may not even pump blood. I know that sounds strange. The heart, you know how the Bible speaks about, says the issues of the heart, you know, the, the, the life, issues of life come from the heart. Well, they've, doctors and scientists have come to discover that when someone does a heart transplant, the memories from the donor go to the recipient. Yeah, the heart does more than what we think, does more than what we know. It may not even do what we think it does. Okay. Verse 21, the lips of the righteous feed many. Hallelujah. How the lips going to feed somebody? With your words. With your words. You can uplift somebody's soul. You can uplift somebody's spirit. You can get them out of the dumps. They don't need to go see no psychologists and no psychiatrists. They don't need no drugs, no pharmacia. They need the wellspring of life. The words of life. That, that coming from that wellspring that rivers of living water that's in your belly verse 21 the lips of the righteous feed many I hope I'm feeding y'all bless you hallelujah but fools die for want of wisdom verse 22 the blessing of the Lord it maketh rich and it addeth no sorrow with it you see what I'm saying? So it tells you in here, don't work to get rich, but it say the blessing of the Lord is going to make you rich with no sorrow. You're not going to have no regrets. You know I'm saying you, you work with a diligent hand, not with a slack hand. And the windows of heaven is going to open up and pour out blessings, even in these days. Hallelujah. I'm going long. I didn't mean to go this long, but and we got another one after this one, guys. But bless y'all, man. Thank y'all for listening. Verse 23. It is as sport to a fool to do mischief. Look at all the rappers. I'm saying they killing each other and go rap about it. Shoot at each other, go rap about it. Rob, steal, sell dope, go rap about it. It's sport. It's cool. You know, the more foolish stuff you can say, the more views, the more likes, the more hits, the more attention you're going to get, 
but you're going to be dead. <laughs> but it's sport to a fool. It is a sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding hath wisdom. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Hallelujah. We're going to get what we ask for. Say so you have not because you ask not. Well, because you haven't asked them this. But the, the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Even in these days, even in the great tribulation, even when the, the liars said we weren't going to be here because we were going to get snatched out, raptured out. Well, we see that ain't happening. Well, we got a few more days. Let's, let's wait and see. If it don't happen on the knife, <laughs> the joke's over you, Jack. <laughs> As the whirlwind passeth, and that's another thing, Lord willing, we, we're going to get in, the whirlwind. It's a lot of things we're going to get in, guys, um, that we haven't, and I haven't heard anybody speaking on, but the Lord is, uh, I'm just doing it as he uh, allows me to do it. As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more. But the righteous is an everlasting foundation. So the wicked, again, is going to be removed with the whirlwind. But the righteous is going to be here, guys. We're going to be here. This is ours. We're going to inherit the earth. Okay. As vinegar to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the slugger to them that send him. Man, you, you cause the pain. Okay, verse 27. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Ain't that the truth? The hope of the righteous shall be gladness. See? But they had us scared to live in the last days during the tribulation time they was like we're going to be scared we're going to go through all this trouble there ain't going to be no blessings I heard one of them tell my hey, you, they, don't be telling the people about all these blessings we finna get ready to go through that hey, we ain't finna get to go get ready to go through nothing that we ain't already been going through duh think about it who done been through what we done been through it's over with it's time to be delivered Okay, um, 25. Where was I at? I'm sorry. Uh, 27. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. We expect the wicked to perish in these days because they're getting more wicked. The wicked are going to be wicked still. And we going to get this earth. We're going to inherit it. I'm going to show y'all. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. Destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity, not to the righteous. Verse 30, the righteous shall never be removed. Uh-oh, there goes the rapture doctrine. Dance, guys. <laughs> the tribulation is here, but it's not for us. Gabriel, Gabriel, come blow your horn. Hallelujah to the Most High Yah. <laughs> All right. Um, verse 30. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not. The wicked shall not inhabit the earth. Shall not inhabit the earth. There go the rapture doctrine. Out the window. The righteous shall never be removed. Wait, I thought we was going to get raptured. Wrong. But the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. They the ones going to go in. They ain't inhabited it now. They got to go. Okay. Verse 31. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom. Hallelujah. But the fraud tongue shall be cut out. Oh, it's going to be a lot of them losing their tongue then in these days. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaketh frowardness. Hallelujah. Well, may the Lord have a blessing on the readers, hearers, and more specifically the doers 
of his holy word. Bless y'all. Thank y'all for joining in. And this is your host, Brian Anthony. Ben Yai with Beyond Babbage sent over and out. Your host, Brian Anthony Ben Yai with the United States of Israel saying, Shalom, shalom, peace and blessings. Love y'all till the next time. And I will be uh, getting ready to do another video here shortly, guys. Blessings. Amen. Peace.